I think people liked the relationship between Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson, the first film, because they could really identify with it. There's a classic story of the girl next door, someone whom you think you're destined to be with, who for some reason is just out of reach. It's a very basic, kind of young love story. This is unrealized love, which is the best love to watch or read about. It's what holds the movie together. Peter Parker, his appeal is that he's one of us, and he's an average kid with, you know, the kinds of problems that we all have. Peter's kind of that good-hearted, intelligent, nice kid. So when you see Peter Parker struggling and so much in love, you just naturally want for him to succeed. I think something more was brought to it when Kirsten Dunst embodied Mary Jane Watson. She was really likable and really engaging, and you understood why Peter was in love with her. Anyone can understand, like, first love or when, you know, that that unrequited love that MJ and Peter have. It's all about everything that Toby does on screen as an actor and everything that Kirsten Dunst does on screen as an actress. I think the audience has a very clear and sharp eye for what's real, and they absolutely went for them. I'm in love with somebody else. You are? At least I think I am. It's not the right time to talk about it. No, no, go on. Would I know his name, this <laughs> guy? <sighs> You'll think I'm a stupid little girl with a crush. Trust me. It's funny. He saved my life twice, and I've never even seen his face. Wow, him. In this movie, his heart is aching for her, and he just has to look at her on the billboards every day. And Peter made a choice that he would choose the road of responsibility. And it's one thing when you leave your girlfriend standing there and go off and do a noble thing, but it's another when she finally gets tired of standing there and thinks, well, then I'm moving on with my life. He's not a reliable person in her life. She, he's kind of been out of it for a while, and they've grown up a lot, even though it's only been two years. You know, you change a lot, and she's off doing her career and is engaged to this astronaut. She's just at a crossroads where she can move on, and I think she looks over her shoulder to see, can Peter come along with her, or is she going to have to give him up forever? She does love him, but it's too painful to, like, be around him because she still has so many feelings for him.